Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Another day with the Hoodoo Tarot and the Sibyl... Sibyl's Oracalum. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. We're on day three. So let's see, what message are the cards going to give us today? <sighs> nice deep breath. Oh, okay, Ten of Baskets came out. It definitely feels like everything's sort of coming together. Maybe it's about family. Oh, card number two just flipped out. Let me find it. Okay, that's the Four of Sticks. So that, to me, again, you've got that sense of celebration, coming together. Definitely feels like a sort of a positive energy today. Again, about using the power, we have the Sun of Six. And let's see if there's anything else that's of value. No, I think that's it today. Just use those three cards. So it does talk about sort of things coming together in some way. Um, definitely feel as though there's a sort of a celebration or... It, it does feel like a bit of a temporary pause, like you're just, you're just taking a breath, you're just... Um, enjoying the moment, you're actually enjoying the moment, you're not looking ahead or anything like that, you're just being in the now, seems to be really, really important, and it is again, we have the sun of six again, so it is about using your own power, um, your own abilities, it's like you have those um, abilities within you. So let's have a look and see what the... Um, oh, Card number one we have is accumulation. It's like things are sort of, yeah, it really feels like things are sort of coming together. It does feel like um, just everything just seems to be in the right way. So that's your black card. So let's have a look and see. Okay, black. Let's look, we've got copper, red, and purpley blue. Okay, so let's have a look and see what these four cards are. So we have accumulation. Again, we have that sense of rage. We have a sense of aggression coming through. And we have the optimism. So again, we've got to deal with our own inner, inner feelings, inner emotions. It's what we're affected by, it seems to be, in some way. It's like this has been accumulating over time for some reason, and we've got to remember to stay optimistic, we've got to stay positive in what we're working through. So, let's have a look at the hoodoo, at the, I'm sorry, at the Sibyllus Oracalum today. I just want to have another look and see what the meaning for, um, okay. So let's have a look at these cards. Okay, so the first card we looked at was accumulation, right? All consume, few thoroughly digest. The bees represent productivity, sacrifice, teamwork, focus and order. Their entire existence is dedicated to accumulation for the sake of their community, and the bowl of fruit symbolise the abundance of such efforts. Dudan is was a Nubian god of prosperity, wealth, incense, especially frankincense, and the protector of all Nubian royalty. He was one of the oldest Nubian deities and was particularly loved by the Medjay, the elite soldiers of the ancient Commission military. Pharaohs, Sinistrit, the third and Thumos the third both paid him homage for Stila and the refurbishment of his shrines at Semna and Yoronati. Dudan was worshipped at the temple of Amon at the Siwi oasis. Abantia was the ancient Romus, Roman goddess of wealth. Her name means plenty or overflowing with riches. There are a few temples dedicated solely to the worship of Abantia. But, but she was invoked in public and private rights. 
he was associated with the aristocracy and was particularly favoured by them. Nikau was the Phoenician Canaanite, Canaanite goddess of fruits. Her Sumerian Babylonian counterpart is called Mingau. The priestesses of Nikau were you said to be experts in the art of dream interpretation. Well, that's interesting. It is rare to meet a person who is absolutely content with what they have because people often feel that they could do more if they had more. This would be positive if they fully this would be positive if they fully utilized what they had already accumulated and desired more to avoid the stagnation and boredom that inevitably leads to decay. In this scenario, the desire for health is healthy for a person's growth and development. However, if we want more without first using what we already possess, it leads to waste and greed. None need be reminded of the suffering caused by the inability to stop consuming more long after satisfaction has been achieved. So questions to consider. Will more really make things better? Are you feigning contentment because you're too afraid to ask for a seat more? Is your plan to get morally ethically sound? Do you fully appreciate and use what you already have? Are you upset or angry that someone else is asking you to contribute or give more than even the quest makes sense? Are you okay but just being greedy? Do you know exactly what it will take for you to feel fulfilled? That's interesting. Okay, so let's have a look at the rage. I want to have a look at um, the next lot of cards. Let's have a look at the rage. The internal flames commemorate the honourable and the dishonourable are commemorated by the void. I actually just let's talk about minutes. Rage is reaction to pain caused by so I just want to see what questions are or didn't for him in there. If you get rage in a reading there's indication that you've been hurt and may be seeking refuge in rage as a way to cope with the pain. You are advised to recognise that you are just hurt to stop focusing with your anger and deal with the core issue. You may move forward with life and health and step to step. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm not quite sure on that. That's something I might have to sort of look at why am I feeling this anger was raised in some way. Now, what's the next one? Aggression. Because I've got aggression next, you see. Okay, optimism is the flag bearer that rides the head of any army of victorious thoughts. Believe that things will work out for the best and go forward with no doubt to the contrary. This is essential now. So even though I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, it is going to be okay. So let's just look at this aggression. Here we go. Slash and burn for richer fields. The scorpion represents aggression against attack. Destroy any and all obstacles to the attainment of your goal. Force is warranted at this time, so it's important to have a little bit of force, a little bit of direction in the way you're going. So this is something I need to look at. Am I happy with what I've got? You know, why do I keep wanting more? Whatever that is. And why am I feeling this sense of anger about something? I'm not quite sure on what that's about. Here I've just got to keep going. And to move with a bit of force and I think that's part of using my power. Here we have the sense of contentment. And let's have a look and see what Ten of Baskets is in the Hoodoo Tarot. So listen to me waffling away. Okay, so Ten of, ba ten of Baskets, right? Let's see what the plan is. Ten of Baskets is standing line. A happy grill master and his family enjoy barbecue and moonshine and fuse with dandelion root. Dandelion root aids with digestion because they're going to need it. But it talks about happy family, spiritual contentment, consensus, harmonious relationships, blessing, shared value, friends who never let you down, reunion, stability, soulmates, camaraderie, union, 
a unity, celebrations with loved ones, and all deal with domestic situations. But it does feel like everything's all really, really positive in a way. It does feel like that. Let's see what the four of six is. Okay, four of six is, is the Angelica, right? They have a couple of planting their babies placenta with Angelica flowers beneath a lush crepe, myrtle tree, and the hopes of attracting the children. A cause for celebration again, a special event, relaxation, laying down roots, feeling blessed and harmonious, interactions, take things to the next level. See, it feels very positive in this area. So why am I feeling, so what's the underlying issue that's causing this area here, this rage? So something today may affect me in this way, and I've got to remember to stay positive. But it's about appreciating what I've already got and whatever that is. And it could be to do with family, can be to do with you know with what's going on. So it is about moving in the right direction. But interesting, I feel like it's very family orientated. It's definitely about um, you have you know everything I've got. I've, I've got plenty and and whatever, and having that ability to sort of really look at things in a positive way. So, yeah, interesting. So, anyway, that's it from me, um, with some thoughts and some rambles, and with what I thought of these cards, and a little bit of description about them, and just gives you an idea. Anyway, so don't forget to check the links below, check the links on my um, channel, and also like, subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care. Blessed be.